Um, okay, so Asian Studies, I would say, is um, like a two-pronged major, if you will. So first, it'll give you a broad general knowledge about the region. We have an East Asia track and a South Asia track, so students would choose one or the other. Um, and so through our core courses, you would get a broad idea about those regions. So that's the first. Um, the second is that you would get to choose um, whatever specific topic you want to explore more thoroughly. So Asian Studies is an interdisciplinary major, which means that we cover everything from um, art history, to literature, to languages, history, political science, religion, sociology, did I miss anything, economics, um, an array of different uh, disciplines, so students can choose if they want to specifically study, say, um, you know, history of Islam in Pakistan. They could take courses on that. They could take Japanese art history. Um, they could take Chinese language. They can do um, political science. So anyway, they can sort of tailor the courses to their interests. So you get both a broad knowledge and a specific disciplinary knowledge. So. There's a lot to choose from, so that's obviously a, a strength um, in terms of skills that you would acquire through the major. Um, and of course, in, in a, it's sort of like liberal arts plus is how we want to think about it. You get all the benefits of being um, in a liberal arts kind of education where you learn critical thinking skills, um, analytical writing skills, and all those types of stuff, and you get to learn about Asia. Um, and uh, we really uh, approach the study of Asia not as this like exotic thing that's out there that you want to just take knowledge about, but um, rather something that's really interconnected in today's society and world, globally speaking, um, as something that's really relevant to everybody who would be studying at UMass. Right, um, so with, a, with an Asian Studies major, you can do a variety of different things in terms of a career. Obviously, if you're interested in a career that has any kind of Asian component, you can kind of instinctively understand that that would give you an edge in like government or education um, or business types of careers. So that's one obvious um, kind of path. And that would be both um, moving to Asia if you're interested in doing that or staying at home and, and working with a company or some kind of organization that has an Asian component to it. Um, the other th important thing I think is that you can also apply the skills that you learn as an Asian studies major um, in jobs that may not necessarily be so intuitive in terms of, you know, it's not necessarily just Asia focused, but you will learn um, how to think critically about um, multiculturalism, ethnicity, diversity, all those kinds of issues, and you'll be able to apply that to really any kind of job um, that would be asking for that kind of familiarity. Right. So.